All right, today we're going to be doing a video on fleshing a raccoon, at least how I do it. I'm not a professional. This is only the way that I put up my raccoons. I put up my own fur, so you may, may see other videos of people doing it different. Pretty much the main thing is getting the fat off the raccoon hide and then uh, so it can dry out on the stretcher and uh, get ready to be sold. You see this is that real, real dark raccoon we caught this season. It's real, real pretty. What I got to do is uh, turn him out. Now fleshing a raccoon is not a neat process. They are really fat animals and it's just just a mess when you're doing one. First thing we got to do is split the tail. Make sure you get that tail all the way split down to the end, all the way down the tip. That way grease and stuff don't run down there and build up and uh, start to rot it. I've got two fleshing knives I use. They're kind of dirty because all I've been doing this weekend is putting up raccoons. So I took the last three coyotes off the boards. So all the coyotes are done, the two foxes are done. I've got three raccoons that are completely done. They're on wire on the hangers now. I put up six raccoons yesterday and I'm put putting this raccoon up and already done another one. So Majority of the time when you're working on these raccoon hides, you are not cutting, you are only at a, holding your knife at an angle and you are just pressing. So I start out the bottom because to me, once once uh, I start the top, come down, it's just such a mess. So I start at the bottom, go about halfway, then I go to the top, start working down so that way I don't have all that fat balled up down here at the end. So first thing you want to do is, is start down here at the tail, at least that's what I do. Like I said, it's it's messy, so for those of you that don't like these types of videos, you don't have to watch it. All I'm doing is showing how I flesh a raccoon. Like I said, it's messy. But I'll go around the edges and get all that big stuff off of it. You're constantly cleaning your knife. This is just a cheap knife. I bought a trap supply. Never sharpened it. I've used it only for, for scraping. I'm tr trying not to go too fast. These raccoons just hold a lot of fat. Every raccoon we caught this year was a good fat one. Now I take my time skinning them and try to leave as much fat on the carcass as I can, but you still get a ton of it. Like I said, we're not cutting, we are only scraping, pushing this fat off. your knife. As you can see this is a nice size male raccoon. On females when you get to the belly you have to watch it through here because of their nipples so if you press too hard you'd bust a hole down through there so granted you put your window here anyways but if you go on up higher You'll have a hole and you just don't want to do that. So on females, be careful. These males, you still don't want to rub too hard. You 
you see I got a hole right there I must have done with skinning. So I have to watch that I don't make it any bigger. But you just continue scraping. The only place you're really gonna cut is on the back of the raccoon's neck. That's where the hardest fat is. Some of them's not too bad. Some of them, them big old boars, really, really tough. And just, just keep scraping that fat off. This fat right here, I'm not going to worry about because I'm going to be cutting my window out there. Like I say, you put in a lot of work during the trapping season and you put in a lot of work after the trapping season if you put your furs up. Like I said, it's not a neat process. t-shirt to press up against it so it doesn't slide on me are you gonna get every bit of fat off no but you're gonna get a good amount of it and the rest of it will just melt off when it's drying Fox or nothing to nothing to flesh. Coyotes are a little more tedious. So they have a lot of fat under that membrane. And usually they have a lot more meat on them when uh, you're because they're so tough to skin. Now we're going to slide it all the way down and we're going to switch knives. I'm going to my Weeby Elite. That's what I use to cut. And we're going to cut down until it feels like it's not hard anymore, and then that's where we'll continue scraping. Get the right side up. Good grief. All right, we be elite, and we're just starting to cut the back of this neck here. This is the only place you're going to cut, is like I said, right through here. The rest of it is just pushing the fat off. And if you don't have them all the way thawed out, sometimes this fat is really hard and really hard to cut. Just keep working. Even with a sharp knife, it's tough sometimes. Clean that off, you gotta watch it because that's the sharp end. And these weebies are very, very sharp. It just takes practice. Just keep working it down. I used to never put my fur up. I bought Charlie's uh, Show Me the Money DVD from Hoosier Trapper Supply and, and learned from that, plus trial and error.
when you start out, expect to put holes in them until you get your rhythm down. See all that gristle there? See over here, we can start pushing. And while I've got it all the way up, I'll take it and I'll start cutting some of this off. All that hard fat on the raccoon's neck. And when you do a few, trust me, the fat piles up. I'm just getting this started so when I start pushing again it's already ready. See we got a big chunk right up here. When I set the camera up, I thought I had it pretty well directed where you can see the best. So hopefully Hopefully this is coming through good. If not I'll have to start over and do another raccoon. Alright, should be good to go to start pushing the fat. So well, I got them right here. We're not cutting, we're just scraping now. doing it just pushing that fat see that's that hole I pointed out earlier just want to make sure I don't make it any bigger I really don't use a belly for nothing but still don't want to have big holes in it. When you hear that hard gristle there, probably going to have to get my other knife here in a minute and cut that. Some, a little more. You do enough of these in a day, you definitely get a workout. Get that fat out of that leg. This is one that was caught at 220 or 161 too. Pretty sure if I put this video up, it won't get monetized. So I seem to frown on this. I've seen skinning videos on YouTube that 
get monetized. And I've seen fleshing videos that don't get monetized, but then boarding, when you're boarding them, putting them on the stretcher, they get monetized. So, is what it is. I do appreciate all of you watching. And I'll leave this subscribe to our channel. It really means a lot. But some of you asked to see how we board a coon, flesh it, and board it. So, just showing you the nasty process. I got all that fat on there. Now, I will sit there and take a rag and wipe it down before I put it on the board. Big old chunk. here like I said you're not gonna get every bit of it off but you'll get a good amount off let me tell you once you get all that fat off that hide you feel how much it weighs when you start then feel how much it weighs when it's done big big difference how heavy they are with all that fat on them Now before I uh, start on this raccoon, before I hit the camera, I'd already brushed it out so your fox, your raccoon, your coyotes, anything get cockleburrs in them you want to make sure you brush out because even though you're not even cutting, you're pressing, scraping down with this knife, it can hit and it can catch and tear a hole in your hide so make sure you get all them removed. But that's pretty much it. That'll pretty much melt off, but that's that dark raccoon. Yeah, it was a conibear catch. Next thing we're gonna do is board it. So, but this is fleshing a raccoon how I do it. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.